do you feel about the rules on this particular match or this particular like particular event? Well, you know, for the super match things are some things are a little different. And the whole objective is to not to foul the people out. It's to have the war. So we kind of tweak the worlds a little bit, like the running fouls and the king's move and stuff like that. You know, I'm okay with it. What these guys need to understand is we all agree upon something. So if there's a foul that happens, it's their fault, not my fault. All I'm doing is calling what I see that they agree upon. So, you know, as far as the rules, you know, there's a couple of things that eh, may go to one person's favor versus the other. But um, that's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. So we, we kind of combine every, basically every promotion rules into one to create the best ones. I yes, think. yes. Of course, this is like the pilot. Just let's figure out does this work. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and like to say, the whole objective is, you know, if, if what's happening over here is a big hit for the company, um, it's going to be going forward. So we want to be able to standardize something, not for the specific style, but for the specific match. This way we can have a war at the end. You know, the thing that we don't want to happen is all these matches that end up in fouls. So you sometimes have to tweak them. And, and you know, the, the caveat on this whole thing is all the elites that arm wrestle, they know what the rules are. It's not about trying to beat the rules. It should be about beating the opponent. So that's kind of where it may get a little, eh, may, may be a little challenging, but that's what my job is. Okay. Have you, uh, have you uh, refereed Mike and Devin before? Um, you know, I, can't, I don't think I've ever ref both of them together. I, I've ref both of them independently, but um, yeah, I don't think I've ever ref them both together. Okay. So this will be a first time for you too. Well, it'll you, be. A you first. know, this is a big, big match. Yeah, no, this is a very big match, and um, you know, being being that I know both of their styles, you know, I got an idea in my head what I think is going to anticipate. Um, but you know, all I want to do is have a fair match, and uh, you know, if these guys are going to be all over the table like Wild Wild West, you know, we got to be able to control it somehow. Do you expect a war, like real war, like? Yeah. Dragged out war? I do. Yeah. I do because with the rules, I think what's happened in the past, the the arm wrestling that they've done, they got away with a lot of stuff. So in their mind, they may still try to get away with that stuff. But we're what we're doing is pulling them back in and hopefully be able to ref a match where there's not gonna be a lot of fouls. So I, I think they're gonna get down and dirty on this thing. Yeah, I think so too. I, I expect a war. I, I, oh, I think I six too. rounds of continuous oh. war. I think, you know where it's really going to come into play is um, you got Michael that does not know how to quit. So he's going to pull until he drops. Now, you got Devin that's an endurance freak. This guy could arm wrestle back to back many, many matches and recover at a really fast pace. So if these guys get tied up, and they have fouls during the match, it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to come down to endurance. It comes down to the endurance, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how much you know about Larry and Scooby-Doo, but that, that's a big match too, you know, in the YouTube online community more than... Um, I, I think it's in the Armisen community too. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I think, to be honest with you, their match is probably going to get watched more than any of them just because of social media. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm dealing with I'm dealing with uh, a guy with pretty muscles, and we're dealing with a guy with arm wrestling muscles. And um, don't underestimate the schoolboy because you know he he's got a lot of talent. But Larry's got the horsepower, so I think if Larry gets him in his position, I think schoolboy's gonna have a hard time. So, how do you see if like this format goes really well, and you look back at the tapes and you say like, well, you know, these rules work. Will you apply them to UL? Um, yeah, I absolutely would, only on the super matches, on, not during the yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Tournaments would be just no. Really <laughs> oh, yeah. No, one no, would ab like, no. no, absolutely, because um, what we looked at UAL, we had some rules, something similar, with the exception of not the running foul. Um, but, you know, going forward, the way the sport is going, and the more view we could get, the easier it should be under the, uh, to understand. And um, I don't have a problem adapting the rules because um, it makes sense. Okay, I'm very excited. I really can't wait. I'm really happy you are here because you're how long you are in the sport. 
What do you oh my god, I've been probably in this sport for four years. I've won six world titles, um, head referee for the United States for 10 years, um, you know, head referee for Armors, PAL, so I, I've refereed just about all the organizations. So, so you don't feel any pressure because you have been in this pressure, you've been living here in the pressure zone Yeah, for you know, I, to be honest with you, um, I don't really feel a lot of pressure. Um, the only, the only thing that concerns me right now is um, refereeing with another with another referee that doesn't have that same kind of experience. Yeah. But there's certain things that I could teach him to watch. Um, basically, what I really is going to have to utilize him for is when someone comes in with the shoulder and blocks my view. He's going to have to be able to see that pin. Okay. So I'll be calling. I'll be calling the fouls. He'll call a pin on his side. Okay, very excited. Can't wait. Uh, uh, me too. Thanks, Ray.